guys, I am here today to talk to you about what is in my travel bag because a lot of you guys have been asking because I do a lot of traveling and so here it is. I recently just got back from a trip. I went to Tennessee to go to Bonnaroo, which was super fun. If you haven't seen the vlog, go see the vlog. We had a good time. So in preparation for this video, I decided to not unpack my carry-on bag so that I could show you guys all of the fun things, all of the necessities and all the random things that are in my carry-on bag that I have to have with me when I travel. There's really not much else to say, so let's just go ahead and get into it. First of all, let me say that I have gone back and forth between different types of travel bags. I've had backpacks, I've had large totes, I've had gym bags, like the crossbody gym bags, I've had simple crossbodies, like big purses kind of situations, and I've done like the carry-on roller. My favorite by far is a backpack. I think it covers everything, it's easy to travel with, your hands free so you don't have to hold on to something, and it doesn't like weigh you down like bags do. So backpacks all the way for me, that is my that is my ticket. So let's get into the good stuff now. The most vital thing for me when it comes to traveling, especially for longer flights, is a pair of socks. Normally I do like this blue pair or this red pair, but I couldn't find the matching pairs. So um, for example's sake, here's both. <laughs> In my experience, flights are always freezing, especially the long ones. So I always carry a pair of like thick, thick socks so that I don't freeze to death. Try it next time. You'll thank me. The biggest game changer that has ever happened to me ever when traveling is a pair of Bose noise canceling headphones. I had heard about these for a very long time. I finally got my own in December, this last Christmas. It was a Christmas present and um, I use them constantly. First of all, it's Bluetooth. Everything is cooler with Bluetooth. It has this feature where you just turn it on and it pairs. She's talking to me. She's talking. It pairs up to any electronic device that you have. It's cordless, again, because it's Bluetooth. When you turn it on, it automatically like cancels out all noise outside, which is very helpful when you're in a plane because it has that constant buzzing sound. It's hard to hear. Trust me, you don't think you need them until you try them, and then you're like, what was life without these? Next, I have another pair of headphones, and this is the pair of headphones that comes with the standard this jack, I don't know what it's called. <laughs> Airplanes only have these jacks available for watching TV and for watching um, movies on the screen in front of you, so it's very important to have this kind as well. So I've learned to just always bring these just in case I forget my other cord, so that I just always have headphone options. And since the new Apple phone has the different plug-in, I've also learned to always carry my little adapter around. When you purchase your iPhone, this comes with it, and I've learned to just keep it with me always because you never know. Let's get into the charger section of this video. Phone chargers. So on bigger planes, they have like the USB import where you can plug in your cord and charge your phone from the seat, which is what I always do. Like first thing, once I sit down, I just plug my phone in. But even if that's not there, I always bring this box just in case because if something happens and you miss your flight or your flight gets canceled and you're stuck in the airport for a long time, you need to have one of these. Otherwise, you're gonna end up having to buy one at the airport, which is like so expensive. The next charger I bring is my Mophie charger, and this is a little travel external battery um, that I bring with me everywhere. So this is my like backup, backup phone charger um, in case there's no outlets around. Next, I have my laptop charger because while people like to read and watch movies and stuff like that on the plane, I always have my laptop with me because I'm usually editing a vlog. With smaller flights, they don't always have outlets, but again, with bigger flights, they usually do right under your seat. So what I do is I just plug this in and I plug it into my laptop so that my laptop's always charged um, and it'll be charged for when I land also. But again, if something happens and your flight gets canceled and you're stuck at the airport, for a really long time, it's nice to know that you could be on your laptop the whole time getting work done or procrastinating and watching Netflix the whole time. And because it makes sense to say it next, my laptop is the next thing in my backpack. I keep this with me always whenever I go anywhere because again, I'm a vlogger and I need to edit the vlogs. I know this is heavy and you don't always wanna lug it around. I've never <laughs> trusted leaving something like this in my actual suitcase, which I check. So because I don't trust that, I prefer to keep it with me at all times. I always keep a snack with me in case I get hungry. 
and the stewardesses don't want to give me another bag of peanuts. Oftentimes airplane food sucks, and oftentimes airplane food is not very healthy. It's a lot of like pastries and breads and desserts and like bagels and stuff like that, and I don't want that. You know, I'd rather have this. Because I am a germ-phobe, I always have hand sanitizer with me at all times because you touch a lot of stuff on planes. You're surrounded by people that are sick, and that is not okay. So I have my phone, which for obvious reasons is with me. Gum, because your ears pop on planes and it's annoying and gum helps with that. And I'm just like a gum addict, so. I love having just little tiny wallets with me, especially when it comes to traveling because it's really small, it's compact, I can throw it with me wherever. So, little wallets for the win. They don't take up a lot of space and it keeps you organized, so. This is my vlog camera. If you guys do not follow me on my vlog channel, then you really should because we have a good time there and we want you to have a good time with us. So come join us in our vlog channel family and come say hi and tell them hello. I have Kleenex because I have terrible allergies. That is a fun fact for you guys. When you are on a plane, you don't know who you're sitting next to or who's around you or what kind of pets they have. I am very allergic to cats and dogs and if I'm sitting next to someone that has cat fur on their clothes, I'm a mess. Like I'm a mess and it's embarrassing but I, my nose is running, my eyes are itching and I'm sneezing. So that's what this is for. The last thing and one of the most important things I keep with me at all times is my like essentials bag. And this is just a small clear bag that I keep in my carry-on bag that has a bunch of random things that I like to keep with me at all times especially when I'm flying. The first thing and very important thing, especially for longer flights, is a toothbrush. I cannot stand that dirty mouth feeling when you've slept and you've woken up and you've eaten and you've slept again and your mouth feels disgusting and you're supposed to land and meet the people you're supposed to hang out with afterwards. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I keep deodorant with me. I hate the smell that comes with being on an airplane for a long time. So two hours before landing, I'll go in the bathroom, I'll brush my teeth, I'll put on deodorant and all that stuff, and I just feel better, I smell better. And I think the people around me appreciate it a lot. Is face wipes. This sounds random, but there's no showers, unless you're on like the fanciest flight of all time. When I go in the bathroom to brush my teeth, I usually bring these and I'll kind of like wipe myself down and wipe my face off. I always bring allergy medication, just in case, you never know. Also, if you have trouble sleeping on flights, I recommend Benadryl because it knocks me out. Advil because I am prone to headaches and if that's you too, you should never go anywhere without something. And even though I've said I don't like traveling with makeup on, I do bring two things. I bring powder. This is my MAC Studio Fix powder, which I love. I'm addicted to and I bring a little brush. Usually I'll like put on a little bit of powder on the flight right before we land so that I look a little more appealing. And then I always love to bring Benefits Gimme Brow. It's just a little like color brush that I just kind of like brush on my brows to help me look a little more put together. And that is all the makeup that that I bring. I don't like a lot, but a little bit, I understand. I understand. It's nice. And guys, that is everything in my travel bag slash carry-on bag slash whatever you want to call it. I hope this video was super helpful for you guys. I have a lot of trips coming up this summer, and I guarantee you all of those things will be on my carry-on bag. If you guys have other items that you prefer to bring in your carry-on bag, let us know in the comments below. And uh, yeah, we'll chat about it. We'll talk about it and all that stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I will see you guys in the next video, which will be coming soon. Cool. Love you guys. Bye.